Hi everybody, this is Kim Hill. Um, I am doing a video for the very first time ever. Um, what I have to say just goes beyond a tweet, a Facebook message, and um, I just it's just on my heart to speak. Um, I've always been pretty vocal. I've paid a price for it over the years in the music industry. Um, it's not stopped me from saying what I want to say and being the kind of woman and artist that um, speaks to my heart. And uh, I live two blocks from where the two police officers were murdered on yesterday. It's absolutely horrible. Um, I've made no apologies about speaking up and, and feeling how I feel about Mike Brown and Trayvon Martin and and Eric Garner and a number of other terrible, terrible killings of black men that look like my brother and uncle and my nephews. And it's at some point my son. And... Um, there is no joy or peace because two police officers were murdered. Um, that's It's not an eye for an eye. I don't even think the victims' families feel vindicated because this happened, whether it's related or not. The bigger picture that I just want to express, just my two cents as somebody that lives two blocks away from where it happened. Michi and I, hi Meech, we were literally... Um, two blocks away from it, I was at her house returning a juicer when all of this started going on. And we're grateful that we're okay and we're alive. But here's the thing. This issue of mental illness and, and people who are sick and not supported in, in being sick and not ostracized because they're not well, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, is I hope what people focus on because that's just got to stop. We've got to work on that. This young man that that participated in these heinous acts was not in his right mind and it doesn't make it right. It doesn't justify it. I don't even know if it makes it better. I don't even know if he was aware of how broken and hurt he was to do these things, but it happened. This is happening across color lines in the police department, um, social workers, moms, dads, aunts, uncles. It's a conversation we're just not really having and it's kind of rips a band-aid off and makes for a really uncomfortable sensation um, with what is left behind. And you know, when black boys fall, they don't fall alone. They fall on their mothers and their fathers and their sisters, brothers and their communities and their schools and their churches. And it's really tough. And, you know, there's no helicopters flying overhead when a black boy gets shot. It's not. And I understand that that's protocol for these officers, and I don't want to seem insensitive, and I don't want to minimize it. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> but it's disproportionate. A life is a life. And if we could all have a little more compassion for the next person's family that is affected by violence... I just know it would get better. I just know that it would. And having compassion for somebody that doesn't look like you, speak like you, come from the same neighborhood, isn't wealthy like you or poor like you, Lower East Side, Upper West Side, Compton, the Bronx, Australia, New Zealand, it doesn't matter. We have to have more compassion. So when these things happen, the people that are broken by it don't feel like it didn't matter. Like it was a drop in the ocean. Just my two cents. Again, my name is Kim Hill. I live in bed -Stuy. Tired of seeing police tape. And if you're wondering what's going on with the hat, I have a whole line of gray hair right in here. And I haven't hennaed it. And I just thought this would be better. I'm going to check out. This lady over here says, I've said my piece. Let's be more compassionate. And uh, tune in soon for All Things Kim Hill.